The leadership of the grassroots organization helps make the Louisiana Farm Bureau what it is today. In February, Twyla's Carl Wiggers took us to the home of Louisiana Farm Bureau President Ronnie Anderson. This is where Ronnie Anderson feels most at home, his farm, the same farm where he grew up. Come here. My grandfather was in the dairy business and they had, you know, corn and hay of course and that sort of stuff and the corn was to feed the cattle and the horses and mules and stuff. Anderson even remembers plowing a field or two behind a mule. He later traded in the mule to work with the John Deere Model A, like this one you see here. As much as Anderson loves this Model A, he loves his horses even more. Anderson's love for horses would later be shared with a lifelong friend, Vivian Norsworthy, the daughter of a dairy farmer up the road in Jackson, Louisiana. So it was only natural that their first date involved this shared hobby. He called and wanted to know, did I want to go ride horses? And that was something we both enjoyed doing together. And uh, growing up, we always did. We, I'd come down here with my mother or, and all, and Ronnie would be riding and I would ride horses with him. So it was a very, very cold January day and we went to ride horses. And I just remember that how very comfortable it was being with him. You know, you go out, could go out with somebody and you felt like you had to, to uh, act a certain way or say something, but you could laugh and you could talk and you were very, very comfortable with him. And I'll always remember that very cold January Sunday riding horses with Ronnie. While still in college at LSU and only 20 years old, Ronnie married Vivian and they moved home to this farm. Anderson took over the family dairy and continued to spend 25 years in the industry. Anderson now raises beef cattle. Here on the farm, you'll find cows and their calves, a few donkeys, a pair of longhorn steers, and, it's a little surprise, his horses. His love for horses never wavered, even after getting a couple of bumps and bruises over the years, including the time he was bucked from his horse, properly named Buck. The bumps and bruises here included a separated pelvis and a stay in the hospital. Oh, that's the one that almost killed me. That didn't stop Anderson from climbing back in the saddle, even against Vivian's better wishes. I, you know, I discouraged it, but it was something he had done all his life. And um, the first time he got on a horse, he didn't tell me that that's what he was doing. Ronnie finds his way back into the saddle today alongside his grandchildren where his love for horses has made its way into the hearts of the next generation. When I got hurt, it, it, it did hurt my back pretty good. And, and if I sit or stand or something, I'll have some back problems. But when I get on a horse, the back problems go away. I mean, really, you would think it would make it worse, mm -hmm. but the best I feel is when I'm riding. And he really is just a rancher at heart. Still to come on Twyla, we say goodbye to a long running segment on our show. But first, we say hello to new opportunities overseas and here at home. Stay with us.